Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic Sith Warrior Edition. Now, if you don't already know, I have a Patreon with some awesome rewards. You can click on the link in the description, or you can click on the annotation on the screen right now to check those out. Anyway, we are now here at the phase. It took me a little bit of time to actually get here because I had to go through Green Jedi territory, which was actually kind of annoying. They seemed to want to attack me all the time because... Hmm, we're enemies! I, who knew? <laughs> oh, no, no. Well, it was just because they were quite high level, and they continually attacked me very, very much so. Ah, okay, so where where am I now? I'm in Barriss' secret lair. Not so secret anymore, is it? And I gave Jacer a new lightsaber crystal as well. Yeah, so we're going to need to fight through a bunch of these, so I guess I'm going to do that. There's probably going to be a bonus mission as well, so I'm going to do that. Whoa, 40. I have to kill 40 of these. Okay, well, this is going to take some time then, I guess. Alright, so I've gone through 44 enemies. Yeah, 44 enemies. I had to fight through all of those. And we have the last one here. I think this is the 45th. I actually didn't count accurately enough. But the point is we completed the bonus mission, which was 40 of them. And then there were a couple of extras here and there. And this is the last one that we are going to be fighting. So hopefully this elevator will then lead to where the entity is as that should be that should be pretty good. I think that should be pretty amazing. And according to you in the comments, this is actually is it is this Darth Kreia or something along those lines? I'm actually unsure what you said now, but ah, uh, it is the entity chamber. So let's head on in and see what we actually have for us. No more enemies. Well, that's good. That is very good. Ah, we have to deactivate the force field. Well, this is easy enough. There she is, the entity. Such pure, dark side energy. Is she not utterly beautiful? I've never sensed anything so alive with the dark side. Come closer. You are here to aid Barris. Knows I cannot resist. He desecrated my resting place. Where I waited for my love, your Emperor. I am bound. Every extraction pains. If you fail, he will punish me for welcoming you. Don't fear, Entity. The trial is over. I know the incantation. Now it is a simple matter. No, you do not understand. We are not alone. At last, I've caught up to you again. I told you, I cannot be killed. Take off all that armor so I can figure out who you are. Don't be obtuse. You left me burning. Barras retrieved me, used the dark side to enhance me. Now, I am his greatest achievement. My eyes are no longer flesh. I see in a new way now. And the sight of you sickens and delights me. In minutes, the great Darth Vauron will disintegrate. Then the Entity will forever be in Barriss' control. Truth. The Death Field is powered by the machinery of Drogs. You can see the future. Can Lord Drog be defeated before Vauron is destroyed? Can is certain, but will is not. I'll clear it up. I cannot be defeated at all, let alone in time to save your friend. You chased your vengeance all this way, only to be run down by mine! Oh, I, I don't know about that. And I'm actually... <laughs> I don't know whether we're surprised. Are we surprised? I don't know. But the one thing that I do know is that he is not going to have a very good time with us here, is he? No, he's not. And he's attempting to kill Jason by force choking her. Come on now. That is just not okay, is it? That is just not okay at all. But yes, this guy is actually pretty difficult. Obviously, he's level 50, and we are three levels lower than he is. So there is a little bit of difficulty here, but obviously that's that's 
not going to make too much difference. We have a healing companion after all. And, well, I'm actually not even up to date on my mods. My mods are that of a level 38. So technically it's a level 38 fighting a level 50, kind of. Stat-wise, anyway. Because we do, of course, gain some stats as we level, as far as I'm aware. But other than that, yeah, it's... Yeah, it's over. It is over. Finish, Lord Drag. The death field dies with Drog. Such a finish! Never felt so much pain. I fully expected to die. But I am grateful to have witnessed your destruction of that monstrosity. Complete the ritual so we can free the entity. Of course, of course. But one thing first. Entity, is Barris aware of what transpired here? Through me, the Defiler sees all of this. Wonderful. He must be twisting with fury. Now, we set up the ritual. The final gate between you and the beyond is lifted. My friend, you have been a revelation. It is time for you to confront Darth Barras. I've been waiting for this for too long. As have I. Even now, Barras is near indestructible, but I know of no other ways to weaken him. Tell the Hand. The Dark Council awaits, and I will be there to usher you in. Oh yes, now that sounds very good. Is he dead this time? I very much hope that Lord Drag is dead this time. I mean, he came back very, very effort effortlessly, I suppose you could say. And then he was just like, mm, I'm a cyborg now, and I have a, a greatly enhanced capabilities. And the only thing he was able to do was kind of not really incinerate Darth Valron. And that's... Yeah, he didn't really do a good job, did he? Didn't really do a good job there, but... It's okay, because we survived, and it's kind of amusing, because if he was that powerful, he would have used his death field on everyone, and that would have been absolutely fine. But, yes, no, he was not He was not able to do that, which is good, good for us, obviously. So, let's go back to our ship, and interact with the holo terminal, and see where we go next. I can assume that I know where we are going next. It is done. The time to confront Darth Barris is now. His leverage gone. Vauron preserved. Barris's bid to be named the voice of the Emperor is crippled. What remains of Darth Barris is yours, Roth. He has gone to Korriban. Do as you must. Korriban. I return to where it all began. Darth Vauron returns to Korriban as well. Barris dare not strike at him within sight of the Dark Council. The hinges are gone from the door. Baron will authorize your clearance to land and usher you into the Dark Council chamber. Baron is worthy of my loyalty. The Dark Council doesn't take kindly to intrusions, and Barris still has support there. Baron will back you. Then you must express the Emperor's will. Unleash the Emperor's wrath! Well, I will of course be doing that. Thank you very much. So let's just let's just take a look real quick here. I'm just gonna take a look at this lightsaber. Uh, uh, the hilt does uh, no. It's, it's not 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 really my thing. Thank you very much. But yes, anyway, I think now is as good a time as any to actually speak to Vet because it's about time that we actually caught up with some of her conversations and well, see where the romance is going here. 
What does family mean to you? I mean, does it have to be the people you're actually related to? When you are close to people, they become family. Sometimes, whether you want them to or not. Cute. I'm going to take that as a compliment. When I was working for Noctrayan, doing the pirate thief thing, he had a daughter my age, Risha. It wasn't like Nock was super sweet to her or anything. But he'd call her princess, and I wished I was her. Having someone your own age could be great or terrible, depending. It was great. Always great. Risha was smart and strong. She knew how to do everything around the ship. And I went everywhere with her. Suddenly I had a sister again. For years it was Risha and me against the galaxy and anyone who gave us grief. Memories of the best times in life are treasures later in life. Who are you and what did you do with the Sith I know? Eventually, Nock hatched some secret plan that I couldn't be a part of. One that apparently got them both killed. But for a while there, I really was happy. <sighs> Enough of that. Ooh, that is actually really cool. Wow, that is, that, is, that is really cool. I like that. Okay, so let's let's speak once more. You know, I never thought much about being a Twi'lek when I was younger. Even on Ryloth, there were lots of other types of people. As far as I could tell, people like me were just the ones who made the best slaves. Wasn't much to be proud of, you know? Your perspective changed as you got older. It wasn't getting older. It was meeting Twi'leks that weren't helpless. When I left Noctrayan's gang, I joined up with a group of Twi'lek artifact hunters. They were all young too, full of fire and Twi'lek pride, out trying to recover our heritage. I could see the appeal of young, excitable Twi'leks. You should have met them. There was a girl they called Taunt. She was beautiful. Everyone loved her. I made friends in the new gang, but it wasn't until we did our first job together that we were family. There was this rich Dura scumball, Kata Bliss, obsessed with Twi'lek women, artifacts, clothes, anything. We took him for everything he was worth. You said he was obsessed with Twi'lek women. Did you have to rescue people along with the loot? Yeah, and some of them weren't exactly in great shape. Wasn't much better than Korriban, and they'd been there a while. Anyway, we were flying high. Did a couple more jobs together. Then came Korriban. And I guess you know how that ended up. You're never gonna guess what I've been doing. No, no, don't try. I'll tell you. In between jumps, I've been checking hollow frequencies. And I found the old gang. They're on Narshada. They weren't leaving messages for me in the old spots. I thought they got themselves caught, or dead, or something. That must have been very nice. Was that you trying to be polite? Old gang's been on the run since I've been gone. Apparently our mysterious informant for the Korriban job was that scum sucker Kata Bliss. Bliss sure got revenge for the job we pulled on him. Fake mission, fake cover story. I'm thrown in the slave pens. And he hits the gang hard. So you could say he was our matchmaker? You are so weird. Once they escaped the mercenaries, Taunt and what's left of the old gang spent their last credits tracking Kata Bliss's movements. That Duro snake has managed to get his hands on the Star of Kala'un. It's a priceless piece of Twi'lek history. I want to get it back. Tell me where we're going, and I'm with you. You're fantastic! Kata Bliss is at the spaceport on Narshada, trying to line up a buyer. I'll send a message that we're coming. Make us out to be interested buyers. Oh, and I'll tell the gang to get ready to receive the artifact. Bliss has some famous Kalish bodyguard they call the Virus working for him these days. But that's not going to worry you, is it? Ah, well, there we have it. That is Vet's first companion mission, as usually they have two, so I'm not entirely sure if we're going to have another one. But with that, that will be it for this episode. Next time, we will be traveling to Korriban, and after that, every single companion conversation will be completed. 
And we're going to be starting with Vet, of course. So, with that, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.